What's up guys, my name's Ike. I'm a professional filmmaker and photographer based in Australia, currently traveling across Europe. Today I'm partnering up with Lunar Neo to show you a really cool editing style that can set your images apart and give you a really unique look. So today we're going to be diving into some selective color editing. So this first image that we're going to edit is a shot that I took whilst walking around the streets of Amsterdam of this building. And as you can see, there's some pretty cool colors. What we can do with selective color photography is we can really have a play with isolating individual colors and either hewing them or desaturating them to highlight certain areas. So let me show you what I mean by that. To start with, we'll just jump straight down into our develop and hit auto adjust as always. This gives us a good starting point. I'm gonna set my camera profile to camera neutral. And then we're just gonna go down and drop our shadows a little bit lift up our blacks a touch. I'm noticing a little bit of vignetting around the image here, so we're just gonna jump down into our optics and go auto distortion correction, fish chromatic and defringe. And then we'll just get a little bit of de vignette as well. There we go, and that's just clean that up really nicely now. Other than that, this is a great starting point. So I think what we're gonna do here is we'll just correct our white balance. We can even just go here, we'll grab the dropper and we'll pick one of these white kind of shades in the windows, go to neutral, and we'll just tap that. And that's done a pretty good job there, that's looking great. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump down straight into the black and white here. And if you hit convert to black and white, now you can see obviously we've just gone fully black and white here. But if we jump over into the saturation side of things, and we can now start to pull back saturation in individual colors, which looks really cool. You know, this image here, yellow, this is fun. This is really fun here. We could pull back the green. If we were to select the cyan, for example, we're starting to bring back a bit more color here, but still the sky is gone there. Or perhaps the blue, and we could then drop the cyan, the green, and the yellow. We could just have this as an all blue image. I really like this. I think this is a really unique looking image. You know, if we drop the saturation back down to maybe a bit more of a, a natural level, this looks really cool. This went from a bit chaotic, brightly colored building to now we've just got the one color, the blue. This is quite a simple edit, but you can see it just draws your attention and it creates quite a unique image. We've got quite a few striking leading lines here. I think what I would do here now is just potentially a little bit of cropping and adjusting so we straighten up our lines. But other than that, we've gone from this, cool image, but nothing that special to this. It honestly is that simple though. You can just go straight into convert to black and white, slide your sliders around, have a play with what you think looks cool. We'll jump into another photo and have a look at this one. This one was taken in Bali. Jump across into the edit page. We'll hit our auto adjust. Again, we're gonna change this to camera neutral. This is looking really sharp, super crisp here. I'm really liking this image. I think if anything, just gonna bring our warmth up a touch. Otherwise though, I'm really liking what the auto adjust has done there. I honestly don't think I need to do much to that at all. Okay, let's jump down into our color here and we'll go to our HSL. For this image, what I'm gonna do more here is rather than just converting the whole thing to black and white and isolating a single color, I wanna have a play with just really controlling individual colors here. So let's start with the greens because this is kind of our main color here. This green, I'm not loving the feel of it. So I'm gonna grab the green slider here and I'm just gonna have a play. And so here you can see we can go this way. This doesn't look natural at all, I don't like it. This way looks more natural, but we're starting to get that kind of over edited look where the greens are just gone. So what I will do here is I think I'll just pull it a little bit this way to get that nice tropical green color, but I don't wanna to go too far. Now, I think there's probably a bit of yellow in that green as well. And so what I often like to do is that I bring that yellow back towards the green. And so now we've got all of that green kind of at a nice mid-tone point in this beautiful tropical sort of green color. You can, of course, then jump across into your saturation and luminance for each color, and you can tweak those as well. So in this image, for example, I might bring up saturation of the green a little bit to make that really pop, and same with the yellow a little there. Then maybe I'm going to drop down the cyan, the blue, and the purple just to make sure there's no real kind of reflections happening in the fur. That's my before. That's my after. I'm honestly really happy with that. Very quick edit. And that's what I love about Luminar Neo is that you can get such great looks so quickly. 
So next time you're editing images, have a play with selective color. It can really give you some unique looks and really make images stand out. Drop a comment below. Let us know if you use selective color in your editing, or I'd love to see some of your edits. Don't forget to hit subscribe to see more tutorials like this, and we'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.